Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was busy enjoying my chocolate bar. It's delicious. Who loves chocolate? Me. In a place you want to discover, there's so much to uncover. Are you an explorer? Yes. Then join us on an adventure. All you need to do is look closely, think carefully, solve many problems. Wait, that's not all. Chocolate, chocolate cake, chocolate brownies, what about you? Have you ever wondered how chocolate is made? Have you ever wondered what are the key ingredients in chocolate? Hmm, did I hear someone say, check the back of the chocolate wrapper? That's a great idea. Let's see. It says, cocoa beans. Let's stop there. Cocoa is a very special plant. Cocoa is one of the key ingredients in this chocolate bar. Now, Ghana is known as the second largest producer of cocoa in the whole world. There are lots and lots of cocoa trees in Ghana and Ghana has some of the most amazing chocolate in the whole wide world. Cocoa is so important in Ghana that we have it on our 20 peso coins and in the corner of our 50 city notes. That's how important cocoa is. The cocoa in Ghana is so popular that countries all over the world buy cocoa from Ghana. So you might be eating chocolate in Switzerland, in London. It's most likely that the cocoa or the cocoa beans might be from Ghana. Amazing. I have a little surprise for you Wonder Space Explorers. We're going to meet a real chocolate maker and she's going to teach us how chocolate is made. <gasps> I can't wait. Are you ready for adventure? Are you ready to discover how chocolate is made? Yay! Hello Wonder Space Explorers. Can you guess where we are? All the delicious chocolate is made behind these gates. Let's go and meet a chocolate maker. Yay, chocolate! Guys, we're going to try and scare Miss Kim. We're going to say three, two, one. Chocolate! Let's try and surprise Miss Kim. Three, two, one. Chocolate! <laughs> Wow, Miss Natalie, you scared me. I was just inspecting some cocoa. Hi, Wonder Space Explorers. Welcome to 57 Chocolate. Yay! Wow, a real cocoa tree. I wish I had a cocoa tree in my garden that I could make chocolate every single day. Miss Kim, is it hard to grow a cocoa tree? It is in some ways and it isn't. Cocoa needs to grow in a tropical climate, mm, which I Ghana is. And also it needs to be in a shaded environment as well. And it needs lots and lots of water. What a lot of people don't know is that when a cocoa tree is just a baby, it takes about six years to reach full maturity and become like this. Six years? That's such a long time. I have to wait six years until I can make chocolate at home. That's right. Mm. Miss Kim, what are these flowering buds here? So these flower buds, they're going to end up becoming the cocoa. They actually have to take some time to grow and then eventually you'll get a full blown pot. <gasps> so these little flowering things grow into this cocoa pod? That's right. That's amazing. <laughs> Wonder Space Explorers, the cocoa tree is so interesting. Let's find out more from Miss Kim. Are there any interesting things you want to tell us about the cocoa tree? Did you know that cocoa trees need shade trees? That means those are trees that grow alongside the cocoa tree to help give it some shade from the hot sun. Those trees tend to be plantain trees, banana trees, coconut trees, or even mango trees. 
And what's even more interesting is those trees can affect the final flavor of your chocolate. <gasps> so my chocolate will taste like mango, plantain, coconut, or what was the other one? Bananas. Bananas. Imagine how tasty that cocoa would be. Miss Kim, are these big trees acting as shade trees for the cocoa in your garden? Yes, they are. And what type of trees are these? They are both mango <gasps> trees. Mango trees acting as shade trees over the cocoa tree. I wonder if this cocoa pod will taste like mango. <gasps> Miss Kim, the Wonder Space Explorers must be wondering, how do we go from this cocoa pod here to a chocolate bar here? Come with me and see, and I will show you everything about it. Woohoo! Let's go and find out. Come on. Miss Kim, what's all that? So these are cocoa beans that are drying out in the sun. Cocoa beans! Wow, these are really cool. But Miss Kim, how do we go from this to this? So, Miss Natalie, if you open this up, the cocoa <gasps> pod, you'll see wow. that there are already beans inside, except there's a white pulp on it, which is actually edible. But what happens is the farmers, they remove all the beans and then they cover them with plantain leaves and let it sit for about five to seven days. Wow. After that, all the white pulp is gone, and then you're left with the beans. They're a little wet by then, so you have to leave them to dry in the sun. Wow, these are so cool. Is this edible? It is. Should I try it, Wonder Space Explorers? Let's taste and see. Mmm, it's yummy. Wow, cocoa is cooler than I thought. You have this pod, you have these white substances that become this beautiful dark brown bean. Yay! Miss Kim, how do we go from these dried beans to chocolate? Well, Miss Natalie, after they're well dried, we then have to sort through the beans, removing the good beans from the bad beans. Once we do that, we then take the beans and we stick them in our oven to roast them. <gasps> so they go from roasting in the sun to roasting in an oven? Yes. Interesting! So roasting in the oven actually develops the flavor, the rich chocolatey flavor we like in chocolate. And then it also removes any type of bacteria because we want to be healthy when we're eating our yes. chocolate. And so after we roast the beans, we then remove the shell and we get nibs, which I will show you right away. Yes! Before we go and see the nibs inside, can I just smell the beans? They smell so good! Oh, wow, chocolatey! Wow! Wonder Space Explorers, we're going to make real chocolate! I'm so excited, Miss Kim. Are you excited too? Yes! All right, Miss Natalie, first things first, we need to put on our gloves. Oh, hygiene, that's important. <laughs> Miss Kim, when we're standing outside by the bed of beans drying in the sun, you said one word, you said nibs. What are nibs? So nibs are what you get after you roast and you remove the skin of the cocoa beans. And the nibs are right over here. Wow, those are the nibs. Let me hand them over to you. Yeah, so as you can see, Wonder Space Explorers, these are the nibs. And Miss Natalie Lee, would you like to taste? <gasps> yes, certainly. Ooh. So you can see they taste almost quite bitter because there's no sugar added. So it should remind you of like a coffee bean or mm. a coffee. Can I chew this one? Yes, you can. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Need some <laughs> sugar. <laughs> okay. What ingredients do we need to make some delicious chocolate? So today, Wonder Space Explorers, we're going to make milk chocolate. <gasps> and the first ingredient you need are the nibs, the cocoa nibs. Okay, cocoa nibs. Next, we will need sugar because we all like our milk chocolate sweet, right? Yum! So we have our sugar. Next, we're going to need cocoa 
butter. Mm. Cocoa butter. We have our cocoa butter. And did you know cocoa butter also actually comes from the cocoa bean? <gasps> the cocoa bean is 50%. Cocoa butter. Now, cocoa butter isn't just what you use on your skin. It's also very edible. Wow, so you can get cocoa butter, the cocoa nibs, from this tiny bean? That's correct. Wow, that's amazing. Okay. And Miss Natalie, we also have cocoa butter in another form. This is cocoa butter that has been melted. So you have the solid form of cocoa butter here and the melted form over there. Exactly. The next ingredient that we can put in milk chocolate, can anybody guess? It is milk. And this isn't liquid milk, it's actually milk powder. Hmm, can we see? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Now, today we're just gonna make a regular milk chocolate, but if you want to add any other interesting ingredients, you can look around at fruits or maybe herbs or edible flowers that you can add into your chocolate. And so, in some of our chocolates, we like to add moringa. What's moringa? So, moringa is actually a tree that grows a lot in the northern part of Ghana and its leaves are very, very healthy for you. It smells healthy. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have hibiscus and we all know or should know hibiscus if we all know our favorite drink in Ghana, Sobolo. Interesting, so can I put any leaf in my chocolate? Not just any leaf, you have to make sure that they are safe and edible, <laughs> meaning you can eat them. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna start our machine and this machine is called, you can call it two things, either a chocolate grinder or a melangeur, which means Ooh. mixer in French. That sounds fancy. So the first thing we want to do and Miss Natalie, I'll let you hold the Yay! cocoa butter. Pouring the cocoa butter. Ooh. And some on this side. Yeah. Awesome. Is that okay? That is perfect. All Great right. job. I want you to get the nibs ready. <gasps> the nibs. Awesome. Now, before we pour the nibs, we want to turn on our machine. Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> So you can see, right now we have a paste. Oh wow, that looks delicious already! And this cocoa paste is normally called cocoa liqueur. Oh, can I taste some cocoa liqueur? <laughs> yes, you can. Ooh, yummy! Still need sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next, we're gonna add in our sugar. Yay, finally, sugar. <laughs> so we're gonna add it little by little. Okay. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Ooh, it's looking like chocolate ice cream. That's correct. And all we have in there is the nibs, the cocoa butter and some sugar. You want yep. to add some more sugar? We'll add just a little bit more sugar and then Miss Natalie, you can get the milk powder ready. Time to put in the milk powder. Woohoo! Little by little. Little by little, okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that was not little. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay, you can keep on adding a little okay. more. Good, and then Woo. we'll add a little bit more cocoa butter. You can see the milk turning. This will taste delicious, right? I hope so. Mmm. Yum. <laughs> it's so good. 
<laughs> Thumbs up, it's delicious, Miss Kim. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, Miss Kim, it tastes delicious. I wish I could just eat the whole thing. But now that that's done mixing, what happens next? So when it's done mixing, we then have to temper the chocolate and that means we have to heat and cool the chocolate to a specific temperature. Oh. So for example, milk chocolate needs to be heated and cooled to 31 degrees Celsius. <gasps> that sounds really hot. <laughs> yes. And when it's at 31 degrees Celsius, we can pour it into our molds. Are these the molds? Those are the molds and the Ooh. molds come in different shapes and you can see that the shapes here are a Dinkra symbol. Yes, I can spot some Dinkra symbols. I see the Gina Me here. Yes, and this one is Aya. Ooh, so you what so what happens then? So once the chocolate is at 31 degrees Celsius, we then pour them into the molds and then we stick them into the fridge to cool mm -hmm. and set. Kind of like making ice, but not really. Right, they do look a bit like shallow ice cubes. Exactly. <laughs> okay, and so once that's done, you would flip it over. Exactly. And you would have the chocolate with this amazing adinkra pattern on the top. Exactly. Wow, <laughs> that looks perfect. Wonder Space Explorers, can you see? So, um, Miss Kim, is this also mi milk chocolate? So this one is actually dark chocolate. Mm. So dark chocolate doesn't have any milk powder in it. That's the difference between dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Right. So if we were to pour our mix in these molds, it would look lighter than this one, exactly. right? Exactly. Wow. They look so yummy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Kim. I've had so much fun making chocolate. Thank you. Wonder Space Explorers, you want to say thank you to Miss Kim? Thank you. What's your favorite part about being a chocolate maker? Hmm. <laughs> so my favorite part about being a chocolate maker would be training people in how to make chocolate and also transforming Ghana's cocoa bean, this, into this. You're doing an amazing job. I think you have one of the best jobs in the world. She gets to taste chocolate every day. Do you want to be a chocolate maker too? I think I want to become a chocolate maker now. Thank you so much, Miss Kim. It's been You're wonderful. Welcome. I've learned so much. We have learned so much. And I can't wait to eat more chocolate. <laughs> That was amazing. I had so much fun working with Miss Kim and we learned so much. We learned about the process from how a cocoa bean in a cocoa pod finally becomes a chocolate bar. Wow. We saw the cocoa trees. We saw the cocoa growing on the tree. Then we saw how they dry the cocoa beans and then they finally have this lovely brown color. They are roasted in the sun and roasted in the oven. Then Miss Kim told us that they are deshelled, which means that they are taken out of the shell. They are crushed into nibs. And then we went into the room where we made our chocolate. We had a different ingredients like sugar, milk, cocoa butter, and we had fun mixing it together. And we finally came out with our chocolate bar. I learned so much and I hope you did too. And Miss Kim was fantastic. And there's one thing that I wanted to point out that we didn't talk about before. Her company is known as 57 Chocolate. Why 57? What's special about 57? Well, Ghana became independent in 1957. So she used that as inspiration for the name of her chocolate company. I can't talk about Coco without talking about a man named Tetequashi who brought Coco to Ghana. Now, Tetequashi was a farmer who traveled to an island known as Fernando Po or Bioko, and he returned with Coco seeds. And he's known to have been very successful in growing lots and lots of Coco trees. Wonder Space Explorers, now it's time for our activity. And today we're changing it up a little and we're going to use a different space for activity. Come along. 
Today we are having an activity somewhere different in my kitchen. We've had so much fun learning about chocolate. Miss Kim taught us how to make chocolate and today, right now, we're going to make chocolate cake in a mug. How? I'm going to show you how. So first, we're going to talk about our ingredients. What you're going to need to make chocolate cake in a mug is flour. You're going to need cocoa powder. We've learned so much about cocoa and now we have cocoa powder. Baking soda. You're going to need some salt, sugar, vegetable oil, and milk. Now you're going to ask, you're going to have to ask mom or dad or an adult to help you with this activity because we have a few ingredients on our list, don't we? Now, I'm going to show you my measuring cups. It's very important that you get your measurements right. So I'm going to use a teaspoon and we have our measuring cup over here as well. Okay, so let's start making our mix. First, I'm going to start with a quarter cup of flour and it's already measured to a quarter cup. So I'm just going to pour that into our bowl. You're going to need two tablespoons of cocoa powder. All right, now I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. You can see how small the teaspoon is? Quarter teaspoon. All right, we're going to add two tablespoons of sugar. Let's get our sugar. Yes, sugar, sugar, sugar. Don't get too excited about the sugar. <laughs> there we go. Now we're going to use two tablespoons of oil, vegetable oil. <laughs> I love mixing. It's the best part of baking. Are you ready to whisk? Yum, yum, yum. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Even though I'm making a mug cake, I didn't use any eggs. It's an egg-free mug cake. Okay, I think I'm done mixing our ingredients and it's looking delicious already. Let me put this in the sink. Woo! Okay, let's pour our mix into our mug. Woo! Yummy, 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 yummy. Now, you're going to take your mug and you're going to put it in the microwave. No ovens, no cookers, your microwave. And you're going to put it in for one minute. 60 seconds, one minute. Let's see what happens. All right, 30, 30. It looks like a brownie in a cup. Let's let it cool and then we'll have a taste. So yummy. I can't wait to try it. Okay, now when you're done baking, you have to wash up. Tidy up after yourself. All right. The exciting part, it's time to taste our chocolate mug cake. <laughs> dun, 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 let's see. Oh, it breaks up like a brownie. Can you see? Time to taste. Mmm, yummy. Tastes like chocolate. Um. We've had so much fun learning about cocoa and chocolate today. At Miss Kim's place, we saw the cocoa pod, the cocoa beans, 
the roasted and dry cocoa beans. And we saw the process of how they make chocolate. Now we've made our own chocolate mug cake and it's delicious. And the key ingredient here was cocoa powder, which came from this cocoa bean. What a wonderful time we've had together today. Thank you for joining and I hope to see you next time. But as I always say at the end of our lesson, Wonder Space Explorers are wonderful. Remember, you are wonderful. Wonder Space. Bye.